Hey guys, so I decided to finally do this video today and it was requested. I'm sorry I don't remember the name of the person who requested this, but um, I'll put it in the video because you're awesome for requesting this. Because I've seen so many YouTube videos where people put pictures on their nails and then a lot of people comment and go, I want to learn how to do that, but usually they don't do a tutorial for it. So finally, I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys and show you five different ways that you can do this. And if you guys know any other way besides the one that I show you in this video, please let me know because I would love to learn. And so here are my little pictures that I use. Um, I have just a bunch of random ones. I love you, Nick Jonas, Together Forever. I love that one, the little peanut butter jelly. Um, Twilight, of course, a lot of people love that. Um, I love Twilight. Um, different little hearts and stuff, different celebrities. There's tons of different ones in here. Um, as you guys can see, well you probably can't, I'll zoom in a little bit more. I love the Twilight Addict, but there's just tons and tons of different ones. I have Hello Kitty and all that. So where I get these from, in case you guys are wondering, is I get them from different magazines. You know, when you buy the magazines, they come with like little ads like this that have the wallpapers for different cell phones, you know. So I just cut the little pictures out of there. Or if you have a magazine or even a newspaper or something, you see a picture you like, and it's small enough, you can cut it out and you can use it on your nail. So, let's get started. The first way I'm going to show you is the easiest and most common way that usually people put pictures on their nails. So, let's get started. So, the first way I'm going to show you how to do this is using a top coat, which is one of the easiest ways. So, just take a top coat, or it could be a base coat, just clear nail polish, pretty much. But top coats are usually thicker, so I'm using a wet and wild top coat. You can use any top coat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be any specific brand or anything like that. You're going to put a pretty good amount on there. You don't want it super thick, but you want a pretty good amount. And then you're just going to take your little pitcher. Here's the one I'm going to be using. It's a cute little skull. And um, you're just going to apply it on there. And a trick that I've learned also when applying these is just take a little bit of water. And you can put a little water on your finger or just dip it in some water. I'm just going to put mine on my finger and get it kind of wet just so it's a lot more uh, flexible. It's easier to bend and that way you don't have to mess with it as much. Otherwise, sometimes it's hard to get the corners to stick down. So you're just going to go like that. And see, that way it, the corners stick down right away. It's super easy. And then just put a top coat over it. Well, usually you would let it dry on there for a few seconds. Apply a top coat, and there you go. Well, you guys can see that. I know it's like really dark, but that's the first way. So on to the second okay, so way. So this is the second way you're going to do it. And this one is my favorite way and the way I'm usually do it most of the time. So again, you're just going to take your picture. I'm getting mine a little bit wet, so again, it's easier to bend and just lays on there really nicely. And you're just going to take some nail glue and put it on there. You can put it on the back of your picture too. That would work, but I'm just going to put it on my nail for right now. My fake nail. So just put it on there. Place your picture on there. Oh, draw mine. Um, you could also use tweezers to do this if you don't want to get nail glue on you which I might do because I don't want to get nail glue on me right now. And just press it down and hold it for a few seconds. Since it is nail glue, it should dry pretty fast. And there you go. There is your picture. Mine kind of faded a little bit because of the water, but you get so the this idea. This is way you can choose to do it using acrylic. This is probably my least favorite way just because it takes the longest usually. So what you would do is you just apply your acrylic nails how you normally would, add the tip and all that. And then you could do the design on your nail painted or, you know, however you're going to do your nail. And then add the picture using either nail glue or a top coat like I showed you guys before. Or you can add the picture first and then do the design around it, which was what I did for this one and also for my Justin Bieber nails as well. Um, for at least one of them, I know. Um, but yeah, so I'll have pictures, I'm sure, in this video showing you guys um, these different techniques that I've used and the different nails I've done. Uh, but this one actually turned out the best that I've done with acrylic and I think it's really cute with the skull. So that's another way that you guys can do it. And so the next way is way. alcohol. And of course you could use real alcohol like vodka, but I use rubbing alcohol. So what you do is you take the alcohol, put some in like a little cap or just like a little cup or something, and then you place your picture in there and wait, and you're supposed to wait like a few minutes and then apply it onto your nail and push down really hard. For me, it took forever. I don't know if it was just a brand of alcohol that I was using or what, but mine took, I had to wait 15 minutes at least for it to soak and then apply it to my nail. And I still didn't even get the whole picture. Like, there's supposed to be more over here, but 
I gotta admit, it's still better than the acrylic though, but um, and it looks really nice, but still it just took forever and it was such a big hassle. But that's another way that you guys can do it if you really want, is use some rubbing alcohol, let it soak for a couple minutes, press it down, you have to press down really, really, really hard, and then you should get the picture on your nail and then top coat it. So the last way you can do this is by taking your picture and putting it face down onto some clear tape. And you can use packaging tape if you would like. And then you're going to take this and put it into some really hot water and let it sit for a couple minutes. The thing about doing your picture this way is that it's going to turn into a translucent sticker that you can use anywhere around the house, on notebooks, on bookmarks, wherever you want because it's just going to be like a regular sticker. And also, I forgot to mention earlier, when it comes to pictures for your nails, if you like a picture online, all you have to do is just resize it so that it's going to be the size that will fit your nail and then just print it out and cut it and then paste it onto your nail. So this also, in case you're wondering how long this is going to be soaking, because I didn't say um, a second ago, um, this is going to soak for two to three minutes. If you have a bigger picture, then I would soak it for about five minutes, maybe ten at the most, just to make sure. Um, but when you take it out, if the picture isn't exactly how you want it, you can always dunk it back in and let it soak for a little bit longer. So I'm about to take this out to see if it's done or not yet. So once you take out of the water, what you're going to do is just go to one of the corners and start lightly peeling it off and seeing if the picture's on there. So the picture's not on there right now. Um, so it's not done yet. But otherwise, if you start peeling it and see that the picture's not on there, you can always put it back in the water and let it soak. Or if you're too scared to just like peel it all off like a band-aid pretty much, then just take your finger and just rub on the top and layers should start coming off and then you'll end up with just a little sticker. So I'm going to let this soak a little bit more and then try again. Okay, so I'm back and I let it soak for a little bit but the little, little present, because there was a little present, didn't come out but that's okay. I'm not too upset about that. I mean, if I was really doing my nails I might be a little bit mad but you can always just cut this half off. And just have the little teddy bear which is fine and then you would just apply it to your nails because you want to leave a little extra on the sides so that you can stick it onto your nails because it should still be a little sticky so you should be able to just stick it onto a nail like so and if it's not sticking enough so it looks like that that's actually really really cute I like the little teddy bear and then you can just cut off the extra tape or if it's not sticking like some of the corners aren't sticking you can always just take some nail glue or a, um, a top coat and just apply it first and then reapply this so it sticks. So I'm going to do that really quick. Just going to apply some nail glue and put it on there. Okay, that was a lot of nail glue. Give me a little teddy bear. Okay. So then just apply it on there. And it's like that. It's really, really cute. It's a little teddy bear. Oh, you guys can see that. Let me stop moving. There you go. Cute little teddy bear. So there you guys have it. Five different ways that you can put pictures on your nails. So of course we have the rubbing alcohol way, the nail glue, translucent sticker, acrylic, and of course the top coat. So hopefully you guys learned a little something from this video. Again, thank you to the person who requested this video. It was a lot of fun to do. And I hope you guys liked it. And if you know any other ways to put pictures on your nails, please feel free to leave a comment below and let me know, as well as request. If you have any requests, just leave a comment below as well. And I will try and do them. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And it was really fun to do, actually. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.